Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a tar papel on Canva. Alright, first thing you need to do here is open up your Canva. Alright, once you're in here, you're going to want to select your project in here. Like, um, for example, this one. Alright, just for example, alright. Now what you're going to want to do next is to hit on share, download, and make sure that it is set to PNG, alright. Hit on download and wait for the process to finish. Once done downloading, you're gonna wanna make uh, sure that you save it on a place that you can easily locate later, all right? So for this example, I'm just, I'm just gonna go ahead and set it, save it on my desktop. Save. Next, open up a new tab and type in app.docuslice.com and to simply hit on enter. All right, as you can see here, we are on the docuslice website so what you're going to want to do here is basically click on poster right here so you'll be able to uh, edit the grids on whatever you want it all right for example three by three right there will automatically show you the preview or six by three or three by six whatever and you just close this one and after that you're going to want to upload your picture like that and simply hit on add to page all right and as you can see here it is done you can stretch the picture out just just by dragging to these points right here all right next if you're happy with the grids just go ahead and hit on export right here or share icon tap on that and it will show you these scissor marks right here for you to easily cut the picture out later all right if you want to hide the scissor marks, just click on this one. You can turn this off and on. You can also cut the lines. If you want solid lines, just go ahead and click on it. Dashed lines. All right. Off. And the margin, it's up to you if you want to uh, make your life hard. <laughs> so just for, uh, for me personally, I'm just going to go ahead and select the bigger ones. All right. And once done, just go ahead and click on and export again export as pdf or an image it doesn't matter depending on what you need i'm going to go ahead and click uh, save it as pdf and wait for the process to finish all right as you can see here export successful it's ready for printing just go ahead and download the file i'm going to save it on my desktop and it's all done all right and there you have it i hope this video helps and please don't forget to share this video to your friends and if you find this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.